up guys welcome back to the channel today we picked up a 1995 Mustang GT uh, I found it on Facebook marketplace and it had something really really unique about it so I had to go check it out I went and checked it out yesterday I couldn't get it to start I had to hear it run before I could buy it went back today got it started up and decided to buy it uh, we picked this up for four thousand two hundred and fifty bucks um, I went and grabbed spark plugs for it and oil change so I'm like 4,500 in it already but uh, it's a 1995 Mustang GT 122,000 miles five-speed tons of upgrades but there's one big thing that I'm super excited about uh, so let's check that out all right so we're adding coolant we got three new plugs in so far I'm about to pull this last one off on the driver's driver's bank we're putting some ngk iridiums gapped at 0 0.35 0 0.035 that's what's recommended for boost which uh, looks like boost to me uh yeah this dude's putting some coolant in there old-fashioned method even though we have a bunch of paper filters we just got today yeah, we're gonna finish this up, change the oil, and see how she, see how she runs. All right, guys, draining the oil. Working on this thing on this dolly is so easy. I mean, I definitely recommend it. Yeah, we got four plugs in now. We're gonna about to work on the other side and getting the oil changed. Here he goes. I'm like. Kind of is. I mean, it's it's a storage good. unit find. <laughs> it's that for three years. Uh, we got all the spark plugs done. About to put the fresh oil in. And we're going to give her a start. It looks weird because I have the back end off the ground. Draining the rest of the oil. We had the oil changed, spark plugs, and now we're about to pull it off the trailer. Hope. <laughs> So it's, it's really noisy. choppy but uh so far we've done plugs i uh, put some coolant in it new battery uh, a bunch of random stuff i did vacuum lines went through it um the tick was still there still way down on power i tried adjusting the rocker arms i didn't get a video of it but i made it worse uh so now i'm probably just going to take it to this shop this next week and have them figure it out uh do valves and all of that but in the meantime uh, we're gonna check it out so uh, yeah I'm probably gonna take it into the shop so they can do valves and adjust the rockers and do all that good stuff but I'm uh, I'm in here taking the header bolts out right now I just got this side done I'm about to replace the exhaust manifold gaskets but yeah that's where we're at guys uh, the next video hopefully will be either taking it to the shop or getting it back from the shop. Um, I'm really excited to see what it does. Uh, they think they'll be able to tune it for about 400 horsepower. Uh, so that's gonna be a lot. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more on the supercharged Mustang that I picked up for 4,200 bucks, uh, like and subscribe. I have another video that's about to come out. I've been 
delaying it so much and I apologize for it. It's the Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4. Uh, it's been like two weeks since I posted anything on that, but I'm definitely getting to it. I just, I have to get it out of the garage and it's just tucked away right now. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like the video, definitely follow along. We're going to do a lot with the Mustang, probably more than the VR4 to be honest with you. But yeah, follow along and see, you know, if we can hit the 400 horsepower mark after they fix everything on it. Uh, it's, it needs lifters bad. I have those ordered. Uh, it might need, you know, new, new uh, valve springs and all of that. So we'll, or, so we'll see there. But yeah, uh, I appreciate you guys watching.